All right, so we're almost there. We've created our dashboard. We can see a lot of data points. That's cool. But there's one thing that we need to just make take into account, which is adapting for mobile. Because if you can see, and you can use this preview, of course, in your interface, if you go into your phone, you know, it's going to look okay-ish, but it's not that great, right? Like it's got some kind of issues here. Probably we want to have maybe not have those card layouts. I mean, there's a couple of things that we want to, to just tweak and mainly the navigation at the top, right? Ideally, we'd have something that kind of sticks, right? So something that is sticky at the top that we can kind of just change navigation without having to scroll again. Because if I'm all the way down, I need to go back up and, you know, it's a bit of a pain here. So what we'll do is just we'll try to have like a drop down at the top and we'll make sure that it actually sticks. So let's try to make it. Let's try to do it. So here we have couple of things, we're going to use a header content layouts in our expression mode. So I'm going to go into expression mode here. And right away, you know, there's a couple of things that I need to take a look at because we've got our local variables here. We've got a columns layouts, but we need to make sure that this columns layouts is not at the top of the page. So what we'll do is actually we'll try to have a header content layouts be at the very top of the page or just after the local variables, which is the same thing really. Now, if we do do this, so if I just kind of cut this, so if I just cut this um, column layout just to keep it there, of course, it's going to error out, which is okay. I can then actually get in a header content layout. And the contents of this con header content layout will be the columns layouts, which is okay. Now, there's an issue here because um, what is essentially saying is, look, I need to have the header content layout needs to be the only item in the interface. But the way I set it up here is that technically speaking, we could have multiple components. So I just need to remove the arrays here, uh, the array curly brackets here to be able to say, this is fine. This is a, this is a, um, a header content layout. And that's the thing at the top that does it, right? So a couple of things here, we might want to not have the navigation column appear. This is, doesn't seem like a column, but here it's a column. So what I'll do is I'll just do a show when and I'll say that it, it's only shown when it's not mobile. So not is native mobile, that will hide it if it's, if it's on a mobile. And here I just basically need to ha add a header and the header will be a card layout and that card will have a dropdown. We're gonna use a dropdown here to be able to select our navigation. Uh, so here we're gonna be able to say drop down field, that's fine. We're gonna be able to have the choice labels be local lightweight nav sections, choice values. Uh, well, in this case, what we can do is enumerate uh, our, our choice values, or we could also use a drop down field by index essentially, um, which would be fine as well because that will also allow us to actually store just the index right away. So that might actually even be simpler. And in this case, we don't you know, need to provide any choice values because we have just the choice labels and it assumes that the choice values will be one through however many. But I do need to actually hit the value, be local bang active lightweight nav section and save into be local active lightweight nav section. There we go, and now I can actually click on this and that should change the field. So that's you know really what we, we had to do. Now, the, just the one thing that I want to make sure of is that when I want to scroll down, it actually is fixed and that's super simple. I just need to add a is header fixed to be true. And then if I want to, I could change the, you can change the style. This is more up to you of the card. Uh, I can use something like charcoal uh, scheme, which is something that is one of the schemes which is already included in there uh, and that will you know hold kind of at the top there now the one last thing that i want to do is just to be able to remove the border um, because the border of the cards the shadow sorry of the cards they're okay but maybe they're not really they make sense on a desktop but maybe not in a mobile so what i'll do is i'll just go into each of my uh, interfaces so here i have a council review and what i'll just need to make sure of is that in the card layouts my show shadow of my card layout is dependent on if the um, if the platform is not mobile. So it needs to not be mobile. So I'm going to use the same structure as I used in the previous interface. So not is native mobile. I'm going to save this. Just save the accounts this interface. Um, 
needs to go down if it wants to. There we go, sorry for that. Cool, so now transactions, I'm gonna do the same thing here for show shadow, not as native mobile, save. And then I'm gonna go down in my goals overview here, so other interface that I have open. And same thing for show shadow. You, you're understanding the, the gist of it. We just need to replace it with, um, in all of those sub interfaces, we just want to not show the shadow. And actually you can see here, I don't see the shadow around the card. And if I go back into desktop, then that actually puts it back. So now if I go back into my kind of parent interface and I try to look at it and I try to test it in my phone, then I get this accounts um, goals. And so I don't have the shadow appear. And one last thing we could do in the overview here, uh, to not have the overview be kind of double dipping here uh, in this interface, I can change the label of the section. So let me just find, um, if I can't find it, I can just put overview. This might actually be in the in the sub in the other interface. Yes, I think that's part of the. Oh no, it's the section layout. Section layout. There we go. So here we have an index. Uh, so it actually shows the section layout here. Section label. So what I'll do is I'll just say if is native mobile then don't show anything, otherwise show it. And that's it. I think if I try to save the changes and then I try to go back into it as a desktop, it will come back. Uh, and then if I go back into the phone, it disappears. Now let me just remove the drop down uh, in the card actually when this is when this is when this is not a mobile. So I do have a card, but here it kind of still, I don't want the drop down to show here in this case. So what I'll do is I'll just um, hide the whole card when it is not, well, it's actually, it only shows when it is native mobile. And there we go. So that's the main changes we wanted to bring. Uh, just make sure that you're taking mobile into consideration. You don't need to make lots of it. Appian is natively responsive, but sometimes you do want to tweak a couple of things to make sure that it works. All right. I hope this brought you value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.